look, it's Grub and his mummy Flora swimming through the reef. Where could they be off to? Oh, they've gone to the bakery. A crab is helping out old McDougon, who is working hard to bake more delicious cakes. Outside, Grub is so excited by the look of the tasty treats that he plays pat a cake with his mummy. What a fun dance to do together. Mmm, that cake smells great. The cake is baked and ready to be decorated. Old McDougan decorates the cake with icing and it looks tasty. Old McDougan takes it outside and cuts a slice for Grub. The cake tastes just as good as it looks. Oh look, it's Donny Dolphin and Finn. They look like they're up to something fishy. Oh no, they're making such a mess, shooting icing at each other. Old McDougon is here now and can see what the boys have done. They have decorated it with a picture of Old McDougon. Old McDougon is so happy. It looks and tastes amazing. Grub is taking a nap on the top deck of the Sharkson's home. But what's this? A group of crabs have appeared. They're taking Grub somewhere in his crib. At first he's nervous, but having the crabs carry him is fun. It feels like a theme park ride. The crabs scuttle along the ocean floor, holding Grub up on their pincers. Who's this swimming up? It's Twinkle Starfish. Whoa, Twinkle has sprinkled magic stardust all over the crib. It looks like it's raining stars and diamonds. Grub and the crabs love Twinkle's magic. The crabs are running along, but uh-oh, they've fallen off a cliff. Phew, it's all right. They're bouncing on giant sea sponges. That looks like so much fun. That's a big yawn. Grub is very tired. Bye, Twinkle. It's been such a fun adventure with the crabs. Time to go back home. The crabs reattach Grub's crib. Grub is exhausted. It's been quite the evening. They tuck him in tight and he's off to sleep instantly. Someone is coming. The crabs quickly scuttle away. Stanley is here, but he looks confused. He sees the crab and smiles. Grub's daddy knows he will sleep well tonight. It's the beginning of school and all the kids are too tired to learn. Mrs Octopus has a smart idea though, musical instruments. All the kids are so excited and start grabbing instruments. Shelly is trying to get an instrument of her own, but has no luck. The Sardine Twins, Patrick and Patricia, grab a couple of tambourines. They dance happily with them and make the tambourines jingle and jangle. Mrs Octopus tells the kids they're going to play the music outside. Shelly is annoyed. She still can't decide what instrument she wants to play. Shelly uses a bottle as a telescope, looking outside to see what her classmates are playing. Miles the Shrimp is playing the trumpet really well. He really is one cool jazz cat. Whoa, he played it a bit too hard there. The whole class are having great fun making music, except Shelly, who still doesn't know what instrument to play. Mrs Octopus is so happy with the class's work, but who's this she can hear playing now? Oh, it's Twinkle playing a magical guitar solo. Twinkle's guitar playing has inspired Shelly. Using seaweed and coral, Shelly makes herself a harp. Hooray! Shelly has found an instrument of her own and can now play with the others. 
Mrs. Octopus is so happy that Shelly is involved. Now with the harp, the band is complete. The whole class is having such wonderful fun playing music together. They take turns having their moment in the spotlight. Mrs. Octopus loves the performance. The class has made amazing music today and will all get top marks. Hooray! Well, hello there, guys. What's going on here? Why are you gathered around that giant clam? Oh, of course. They're here to see the show. Listen to them cheer. Everyone is excited when Twinkle and the Starfish play. They're the best music act in the whole of Splashy Reef. That's Wrinkle, Sprinkle and Twinkle in the middle. Twinkle is the superstar of the group. She's also a little bit magical. It's Donny Dolphin. He's late for the concert. If you listen, Donny, you can hear the music playing. That's it, off you go. Nobody wants to miss the starfish when they're playing. Here comes Twinkle, everyone. Close your eyes and make a wish. Quick, and it might come true. And there they go. Look at that magical trail of stardust that's coming from Twinkle Starfish. I wonder where they are off to now. Come on, everyone, let's follow them. Oh, look, they're heading towards the home of the Sharks and family. And look, there's Mummy Shark and little baby grub. Isn't he adorable? And there's the starfish. One, two, three. Close your eyes tight and make a wish, baby grub. It's so much fun to swim around Splashy Reef. Look at Tucker go. That's one happy turtle. Everything is a little bit magic when the starfish are around. Just look at baby grub. He's having such a good time watching the starfish. Give him a spin, Twinkle. Look, stardust. That's amazing. Oh, bless you, grub. <laughs> it's getting late though, everyone. Twinkle's performance is almost over. And here we are back at the stage. Give the starfish a big round of applause. Wasn't that such a good show? Starfish really are magical. Oh look, it's Bin Crab. He's doing a great job keeping the ocean floor clean. What's this? Wow, there's a real boat above. Daddy is rowing it through the ocean. Grub is having an excellent time rowing about. Whoa, there they go, up over the coral. That gave Grub butterflies in his stomach. Some colorful fish have come over to say hello. Hello fish, beautiful. There's Tucker the turtle. What's he going to do? Ah, he made a silly face. It scared Grub for a moment, but now he finds it really funny. Bye, Tucker. This coral is so bright and colorful. It looks like a rainbow. A couple of friendly jellyfish wave hello. But where have they gone? Boo! That gave Grub a fright, but it was really funny. Bye, jellyfish. Grub loves to see all of the pretty plants and coral at the bottom of the sea. Look, there's Donny Dolphin. Hi Donny. There's someone swinging up from behind. Oh, it's Mummy. Grub is so excited to see her. She's joining them for the ride. Grub has had an amazing time, but he's too tired to stay awake. Good night, Grub. Sleep well. Pop, pop, go the bubbles in the mud pool. Tucker the turtle swims up and dips in a toe. The mud is very warm and the bubbles tickle. Finn swims up to the bubbling mud pool and dives right in. Uh-oh, Tucker has lost his balance and he topples in. Whoa there, Finn, your spinning is making Tucker dizzy. Finn wants a mud fight and splashes Tucker. 
Oh no, Tucker's glasses are covered in mud. Let's just give them a quick wipe. There we go, Tucker can see perfectly again. Oh look, Shelly is here. She's so excited to jump into the mud pool. Whoa, what a great flip in. Cover your eyes from the splash, Tucker. You don't want dirty glasses again. What great fun they're all having in the mud pool. The gang are out of the pool, but they can't resist diving back in. The mud pool is so much fun. Daddy Shark and Grub are swimming up to the pool. Grub is so excited to join his siblings and Tucker. Grub swims up high and bang! He has accidentally hit Finn on the head. Luckily, it didn't hurt. The kids all flop back and start floating around on their backs. Daddy is very impressed. Good job, guys! Grub wags his tail too much and fires a huge splash of mud at Daddy. Now Daddy is filthy. Daddy swims over to the mud pool, scoops up Grub and whisks him away. Daddy has taken Grub to a hot bath. It's time to get him nice and sparkling clean. The other kids dive into the hot bath. It feels amazing to be clean again. It's time for Daddy to get back to work. But he isn't looking where he's swimming. Oh no, he's fallen into the mud pool. Daddy needs a hot bath now too. Look, there's Mummy Shark fixing the window of the shark house. Oh, who's that swimming towards the house? It's Grub, he's coughing loudly. Mummy swims down to him. Grub is sick, he's feeling really unwell. Mummy tells him not to worry and takes him inside to rest. Mummy tucks him up tight in bed. Grub looks far too hot. Oh dear, his temperature is really high. Daddy Shark is here now. He tells Mummy not to worry and that Grub will be better soon. Daddy has medicine for Grub. Daddy plays Here Comes the Submarine, but Grub doesn't want to take it. He hates the taste of the medicine, but knows it will make him better. Daddy tells Grub not to worry and that he'll feel better soon. Daddy tucks Grub in tight. Mummy soothes Grub as she places a cold flannel on Grub's head. Oh look, Twinkle Starfish has come by to say hello. Grub says hi, but is too tired to do much more. He needs to rest to get better. Mummy and Daddy have a surprise for Grub. It's a cuddly toy fish. He'll drift off to sleep easier with this. Just another quick temperature check. It's getting lower, but not right yet. A good night's sleep and Grub will be all better. The next morning, Grub slowly stirs awake. He's delighted to find that his temperature and cough have gone. Hooray! He feels all better again. Oh, look! It's Tucker. Tucker and Grub can't wait to play with each other. Grub surprises Mummy and Daddy Shark at their digger trucks. They're both so happy to see that he is well again. Grub hops into his own digger and speeds off to join his parents. The Sharksons rev their engines. They are so excited for a great day's work. house with lots of bright colored letters floating around it. It's Finn and Shelly Shark. Hurry up guys or you'll be late for school. What will he learn today I wonder? Could it be the alphabet? Do you remember how it goes? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Oh look, it's Mrs Octopus. Shelly and Finn have made it to school in time. Tucker is playing hopscotch in the playground. Come on Tucker, playtime is over. Time to head inside. 
The letters are now floating further along the reef. The little fishes are having so much fun. Oh dear, look at all that rubbish that's floating in the ocean. The letters are getting stuck in it. Here comes Daddy Shark. I'm sure he'll find the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That's all of them. Nice work, Mummy and Daddy Shark. And thank you, Baby Grub, too. But now they've got their letters bagged up, I wonder what they're going to do with them. There's the shell bell. School is over for today. Wow, Mummy and Daddy Shark have put all the letters of the alphabet up outside the school. That'll help the children learn their ABCs in no time at all. Bye, everyone. Look, here's one, two, three, four, five little fishes. Look at all their bright colours. It must be so nice living in such a beautiful coral reef. Wait, what's this? All this rubbish doesn't belong here. Watch out, little fishes. There's so much rubbish now, I hope they can still swim out the other side. Phew, that was close. There's only four of them now. Oh, look, it's Mummy Shark in the super cleaning machine. She'll get rid of some of the rubbish. Look, the four little fishes are swimming off along the reef. They seem happy again now. Watch out, there's some more rubbish up ahead. Oh dear. One, two, three. We lost another one. Oh, here comes Daddy Shark with his digger. That's it, Daddy Shark. Dig it out of the way. The three little fishes better be careful now. Oh no, there is some more rubbish ahead. Be careful. Swim quickly through it. One, two. We lost another fish in the rubbish. There's Donnie and Shelly playing in the reef. They look pleased to see the bright, colourful little fish. Uh-oh, there's another load of rubbish. Swim, guys! If you're fast enough, you might make it to the other side. That's it. Well done. Oh, it looks like only one of them has made it through to the other side. Look, there's Tucker Turtle. He looks like he's having a lovely day. Oh no, the yellow fish has got caught up in a plastic bag. That's not good at all. What is it, Tucker? Have you got an idea? Yes, you must go and get some help to rescue all the lost fishes. Of course, it's Mummy and Daddy's job to clean up the ocean. They can find the fish and get rid of the rubbish. That's it, clean away that rubbish. Look, there they are. All safe and sound and happily back together. Well done, Mummy and Daddy Shark. That's right, everyone. If we clean up together, we can get rid of all the rubbish. Do your bit to keep the ocean clean and healthy. That's right, pop it into the recycling bin. Well done, everybody. Look, it's the Sharkson family. There's Mummy Shark, Baby Grub, Finn and Shelly too. And here's Daddy Shark. You almost forgot your lunch boxes. Well, remember Daddy Shark. Isn't Splashy Reef beautiful? It's so nice to ride the bus. Nice driving, Mr. Dugong. It's the angelfish. They're waving hello. Aren't their bright colours pretty? And Finn and Shelly are waving back. What's this? It's the seahorse family. Daddy seahorse loves the triplets very much, but they sure can be a handful. Oh, look, they've got away. Hurry up, Daddy. You better get them before they go too far. It sure is bumpy driving through the coral reefs. Hold on to those lunch boxes, Finn and Shelley. And don't lose your hat, Mr. Dugong. What's he seen now? 
Oh, it's only Tucker the turtle. Hello, Tucker. He's going to be late for school unless he gets a move on. Ah, look at Finn and Tucker pulling funny faces at each other. Here we are at Pearly Ridge School, just in time. And look, Donnie and Dolly Dolphin are waiting. Have a good day at school, guys. I wonder where the bus is driving to now. <laughs> I think Daddy's hat's too big for you, Grub. Oh, look, the bus has stopped at the recycling plant where Mummy and Daddy Shark work. Better take your work hat back now, Daddy. It's time to get to work. They keep the ocean clean, and Baby Grub loves to help when he can. But what's this? Have you seen something, Baby Grub? Mummy and Daddy better follow him. A tin can? That doesn't belong at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, look! Mummy and Daddy have spotted some more rubbish to clean up. That's right, everyone. Put all that rubbish in the recycling bin. Wait! The recycling bin is moving. Oh, look, it's Bin Crab. He's helping too. He's taking the rubbish to the recycling plant. Well done, everybody. Bye, guys.